Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a condition reaper build for you. I made some experiments. <clears throat> I experimented a lot. And um, every minute changed a lot of things in the builds. I usually do. Especially the condition damage build. So I need to update them now. I tried a lot of stuff and uh, said uh, f it why why try things when I can steal a build so I got this build from uh, Lord Heisen it's the chronomancer build and I'm gonna compare it to my the build that I'm gonna use uh, the two builds are similar but uh, the skills aren't the same and the relic isn't the same and to be honest, I'm leaning towards my build. It's more comfortable in open world. Uh, the good thing about um, like the whale's build, it's good against uh, champions. But it really sucks if the champion have uh, adds on them. You're gonna suffer a lot. Or like if the, if the champion is moving a lot. So yeah, I'm leaning towards my build to be honest. Uh, it's more comfortable, it's more suited for open world. The will's build is more suited for, I don't know, like dungeons or something when you're fighting the boss that's standing still. And you wanna faint stack it. So yeah, we gonna like uh, try them both and compare them. But first of all, um, I wanna change my look. I don't wanna look like this uh, for my condition damage. I'm gonna get a new cape to be honest. Uh, what is it? The dark matter cape here we go i actually um got this for free i grinded a lot of maps you can get uh, a key from each map when you unlock it like you have 33 percent chance of getting a key from a map also i uh, did my weekly key farm which is you do a level 10 story and like you get the key and delete the character i have a guide for that I didn't even have to buy anything, like I just grinded it myself. I'm gonna get the escape here. Okay. I'm gonna use it. Yay. I nice. uh, don't like the shoulders. Uh, let's do... Is it a Requiem? Yeah. Why not? I'll keep it like this for now. So for this, for these two builds, I use a uh, full um, celestial gear with runes of the trapper, condition damage. Except the weapons, like I have some weapons that are trailblazer stats, but that's fine. Too lazy to change them. I can change them in the Mystic Forge, but I won't do that. Relic of the Chronomancer. Uh, this is the first one, the build, like, um, the build is reliant on well to uh, give us uh, quickness, to make everything faster. That's how it works. <clears throat> okay, for Reaper we go like this. Uh, we need Deathly Chill for the bleeding, when we chill uh, like an enemy. We bleed them. Um, here in uh, curses, we our crits give us uh, bleeding too, and our blinding gonna chill us, which gives us bleeding. Uh, we heal from this uh, skill. Actually, this skill, uh, this trait was here, like the place of it was here, and it changed to here. We heal like five percent of our condition damage. Your condition damage is increased, condition affected by scepter skills have longer duration, and Feast of Corruption becomes Devour and Darkness. Okay, so our scepter is stronger and we get uh, condition damage and uh, more condition duration. And this is the bread of, and butter of our uh, build. Death Magic. Um, Death Magic is reliant on a resource called Carapace. Which gives toughness and uh, power and condition damage. 
um we get the <clears throat> like we can choose how we get this uh, resource either by having minions or by applying poison from this trait uh this trait give us uh more power more condition damage when you have carapace like it stacks up for us that's why we have we have we're gonna have a huge amount of condition and uh, power damage so it's really strong and here we're gonna have uh consistently uh, protection when we have death carapace and we're gonna have it all the time because we're gonna apply poison a lot we're gonna apply a lot of poison and we have a lot of things to apply poison for that <clears throat> one of them is the death shroud um, salt spiral so yeah we're gonna have uh, protection all the time that means minus 33 percent of uh, incoming damage that's really great so yeah that's that's it about the build and uh for you to understand what we're doing uh we need to chill enemies or blind them to get the damage um we have stability we can apply on vulnerability because uh, we don't have spite anymore we used to have we used to have stacks of uh, vulnerability on enemies of the straight line of spite but since we don't have it now we gonna change it for this or with the sigils of our enemies inflict two stacks of vulnerability for eight seconds after striking a foe from behind or the flank well we're not we're not a thief we're not gonna go behind the enemies but uh wills actually work like they're behind you like when, whenever you use a will it works like you're be they're behind you on on an enemy so uh it's gonna wor work like that for some reason oh yeah also for food I'm uh, using the plates of kimchi pancakes for increased bleeding duration and condition damage. And uh, magnanimous turning crystals which turn our uh, vitality and like our toughness into more condition damage which we have a lot. Look, look at this. We have a lot of condition damage and we're gonna have a lot of uh, toughness. I'm gonna keep the, um, like the stats here so you would see how much condition damage is gonna reach gonna become a lot because of the carapace and uh because of our like might so i'm gonna try the first build and see which one is better for me you can do whatever you like guys see how, how much condition damage we're getting and how much power it's really great also the toughness also our fear inflicts chill too this is the lord heisen build uh i'm not perfect with the rotation but i don't think you're gonna be perfect with the Rotation either as a new player. No offense, it's just a bit hard. Keep track. Also, condition damage Reaper is kind of like a brainless build. It's fun, yeah, but it's easy and simple. That's why it's perfect for a new player. Now we're gonna change up some things. Uh, we're gonna keep the trait lines like that. Mm. Now we're gonna keep them. We're gonna get back to the Rune of the Reaper. Yeah, we're gonna change to this. Uh, the Shouts, Augury of Death. For healing. Uh, actually, we're gonna keep this, the Well. Okay, you're gonna need these two shout your weaklings and also your soul is mine that's what i usually do that's what i like, usually build 
Also, whenever there's mobs, I change this to uh, Spectre Grasp to pull the mobs for me. And guys, one of the things you should keep in mind and always use this uh, combo. Use a scythe. We have a like chill field and use this chill and bolt. It's gonna give you more uh, bleeding. Okay, let's start. Uh, we have less DPS, but to be honest, it's more comfortable for me. We can travel and see it for ourselves. So we can try it here. First of all, with the first build. The wells. Romancer. We get back here. Uh, we use the wells. Mm. You see how he's moving? Like he's gonna, he's gonna move a lot. And you also have to move because he have this fire field that hurts a lot. Also, you have these annoying mobs that keep on CCing you. Yeah, <clears throat> that's the first one. Now we're gonna use the other build. Gonna use this because there are mobs. Also, it applies chill, so we're gonna get get damage from it. Life force. Um, rise for thirty three uh, percent more damage reduction. Uh, your weaklings for more might. Or we can use, uh, like, um, what is it, the chill? I'm around you, chill, whoa. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, uh, suffer. But I usually go with your weakness, because it's a break stun too. Your soul is mine, uh, because it's very low, like, uh, cooldown, and it's a shout. And we change to shouts. Relic of the Reaper. Um, okay, good. We use, um, we use a torch, because it keeps up the, the might. Also, it corrupts the boons. I use also the pistol, because it has uh, the CC skill for break bars. Let's do it again. I don't think it's gonna spawn the same mob. Oh, it's the same mob. Okay, that's good. You can't hurt me because you're blind.
so yeah it's up to you to decide which one is better for you but for me these uh, this one is better uh safer and more comfortable so yeah we well, let's all also go try it on a uh, the queen So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, these two builds, the Condition uh, Reaper. Remember, sometimes I implement other weapons into the builds, uh, so you can do that if you want. Uh, for example, I can use the the Staff, or even the Greatsword, and like in a Condition build, yeah, because like, the Greatsword have a, like, <clears throat> blind field, and uh, some like, uh, chill. So yeah, it can work, but it's gonna be less damage, but uh, if you prefer that, you can do that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, and you can support me with a like, and subscribe to the channel, if you're not subscribed yet. And comment if you have uh, any questions you wanna ask me. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.